<laughs> ho, 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 and welcome to another possum adventure. I'm your host, Mike, and this is Lily. And this time, we're tackling a topic that's as merry as it is hairy. How to keep our furry friends safe during the holidays. <laughs> as you know, the holidays are a time of joy, laughter, and let's be honest, a bit of chaos. And amidst all the festive cheer, our canine companions can sometimes find themselves in a bit of a pickle. That's why we brought our very own resident dog expert, the charming and possum Lily, to help us navigate this holiday minefield. Ready to spread some holiday cheer and keep our furry friends safe. <laughs> That's the spirit, Lily. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty of holiday pet safety. First up, we have those twinkling, tempting lights. How can we prevent our dogs from turning into furry disco balls and getting tangled up in those sparkly cords? Oh, those lights, they look so tasty. <laughs> I, I know, Lily, I know. But those lights, they can be dangerous if we're not careful. So let's ask Dr. Posington for his advice. Welcome, Dr. Posington. Fear not, fellow pet parents. I, Dr. Posington, am here to illuminate the path to holiday pet safety. Amen to that, Dr. Posington. So spill the beans. How do we keep our dog safe from the lure of those twinkling lights? Ah, the secret lies in strategic placement. Secure those lights up high out of your dog's reach like a master puppeteer pulling the strings of festive cheer. You can also use core protectors or invest in battery operated lights to eliminate the risk of electrocution. No more tangled pups. That's the spirit, Lily. And what about those ornaments, those irresistible shiny baubles that seem to call our dogs names? Oh, the ornaments. They're like shiny toys begging to be chased and chewed. <laughs> I know, Lily, I know. But those ornaments can pose a real danger if ingested. So, Dr. Posington, what's your wisdom on ornament safety? Keep those ornaments out of your dog's reach, my dear Mike. Consider using shatterproof ornaments or even decorating with dog-themed pet-safe ornaments. Safer and more fun for your canine companion. No more ornament-related tummy troubles. Excellent advice, Dr. Posington. And what about those delectable treats that often make their way under the Christmas tree? Oh, the treats, they smell so good. I bet they do, Lily. But many of those holiday goodies are harmful to dogs. Chocolate, for instance, is a no-no for our furry friends. So, Dr. Positon, what's the scoop on treat safety? Exercise caution. Opt for dog-friendly treats or stick to their regular food. And remember, if you ever have any questions or concerns about your dog's health or safety, don't hesitate to consult your veterinarian. Only dog-approved treats. Only the best for you, Lily. Thank you, Dr. Positon, for your expert advice. And don't forget, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And Lily, how did you find the doctor's advice? Dr. Posington is very wise. I'll be sure to stay away from those naughty lights, ornaments, and treats this holiday season. That's great, Lily. And remember, if you ever feel tempted to nibble on something you shouldn't, just come find me and I'll give you a nice big dog safe treat. Deal. <laughs> well, that's all for this episode. Remember, with a little planning and precaution, we can keep our furry friends safe and sound all holiday season long. 
And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more pet related tips and tricks. Merry Christmas everyone. And remember, keep your furry friends safe, happy, and healthy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, you're such a good girl.